Hi, and thank you for viewing the hip and lower extremity myofascial release video. The intention of this video is to show and educate you how to improve your range of motion of the lower extremities and hips. And all exercises included in this video should be performed for one to two minutes before moving on to the next one. Please enjoy. For the first exercise, we will be demonstrating a plantar myofascial release. So starting with the first technique with the heel onto the floor, you're placing that ball next to the metatarsals and rotating left to right at the ankle. You can also then move that ball closer to the arch to get more of a stretch. Then we're gonna transition into the forefoot where we're planting the toes onto the floor and shearing left to right underneath that arch next to the heel, trying to feel what's best in that region. And then the third technique will transition into a hover where we will have the toes and heel elevated off the floor. And at this point, you can try flexing your toes up or down, shearing front to back, or side to side. To enhance the stretching, you can go ahead and get down into a kneeling position where you will exert more force onto the plantar fascia region. Then you're trying to flex your toes up and down with your hand and trying to add more pressure. You can also add in the other techniques of shearing left to right or side to side and basically trying to add as much pressure as you can to the underside of that arch. So here for the second exercise, we will be doing a calf myofascial release. So we're gonna place the foam roller underneath the calf right above the ankle joint, and you're gonna lift your bottom up and rotate your leg left to right on any areas of discomfort. If you're not feeling it in that region, you can go either up or down looking for that area. Then you can try to flex your foot up and down, move your foot clockwise or counterclockwise, trying to get some movement and trying to release the tissues underneath. To enhance this movement, you can then cross one leg over while keeping your bottom up and repeat all the same techniques of shearing left to right, moving your foot up and down, and moving it clockwise or counterclockwise. The third exercise is a quadricep myofascial release exercise. So we're gonna start with the foam roller directly above the knee joint, and we can start with our feet separated, but if you want more pressure, you can cross one leg over. And then we're gonna focus on that shearing motion of left to right, so you're going against the grain of the musculature, and looking for areas of discomfort. If you're not feeling anything in this plane, you can either go up or down and repeat this motion left to right. If there's a particular spot or trigger point that's not really relieving, you can then contract and relax as seen by Kaylee here, contracting the quad musculature nice and firmly, holding for a few seconds and then relaxing. Then we can also add in the second technique where you can try to flex your heels to your bottom and extend while extending back straight, you can then go into that contraction of that nice and firm quad activation and then relaxing to relieve the tension as well. Here for the fourth exercise, we're focusing on the iliotibial fascia or the most commonly known as the IT band. So here we're gonna find an area of discomfort placing that foam roller right above the knee joint. If you're not feeling anything in that spot, you can either go up or down looking for another area. And what we're gonna focus on next will be a contract and relax component, so also known as flossing here. So you're trying to bring the heel towards your bottom and extend back out straight. You might have a lot of discomfort here, so with that other foot that's planted onto the floor, you can alleviate some of the pressure by pressing up. Um, here Kaylee is looking for another area of discomfort, stopping on it, and then either contracting or relaxing the quad, and then you can also repeat the technique of bringing your heel to your bottom back and forth. The fifth exercise is a foam roller hamstring myofascial release. So here we are crossing one leg over, placing the foam roller directly underneath the hamstring, keeping your core tight and braced, and you're gonna try to lift your bottom up and shear left to right on the musculature. So because of the surface area of the foam roller, you probably won't dig into the tissues as much, but this is an alternative to what we'll be showing you next with the little cross ball. So for the next exercise, we'll be focusing on your hamstring release, but this time with a lacrosse ball. So you're going to find the ischial tuberosity, which is the bony portion of your bottom. And probably about an inch away from that area, going towards the knee, you're going to place that lacrosse ball on the backside. And as you can see, Kaylee's trying to keep her back as straight as possible. And then with her opposite arm, so it's underneath her left, or reaching with the right, you're trying to hinge forward as far as you can while keeping your back as neutral as possible. So this is one technique. And then we'll transition into some others with the rotation of the foot, either in or out, and then continue going back and forth. 
if you're not feeling much with this exercise, you can go onto a bench or a stool or a chair and sit on the very edge of it and place that ball in the same region. Your legs will be fully extended in front of you and try to hinge with a straight back. But another technique to this is also shearing that ball left to right. So you can try to pick your hips up and go left to right on the hips trying to get another area of discomfort and trying to knead out the tissue. So the seventh exercise will be focusing on the TFL musculature. So this musculature is responsible for rotating the hip inward. So here we have Kaylee placing the lacrosse ball onto the greater trochanter or the long head of the femur there and then moving that ball a little forward so it's on softer tissue. As you can see she's rotating her leg out and in and then she's going to do the same exact thing so placing the lacrosse ball there not on the bony surface but on the softer tissue kind of laying at a 45 degree angle not completely straight forward with the floor. And then she's going to go through the internal and external rotation of her leg, looking for that area of discomfort. The eighth exercise will be focusing on the psoas major. So here we're getting the knife edge of the foam roller and placing it right above the femur, right into the gut space here. So that knife edge is literally on the side of your stomach. So you don't want to have too much surface area on the stomach. So just the knife edge. And here we're going to have the left arm overhead since it's on our left side and you're going to bend your leg at 90 degrees of the same side. And then you're going to rotate your leg internally and externally feeling for some areas of discomfort underneath that foam roller. So you'll do this a few times, setting a timer for a minute or two, going through the ranges of motion back and forth. And then to enhance this you can try pressing the knee and heel up towards the ceiling and going down and up and repeating the movement, doing that about five times and then going back to the external and internal rotation, trying to knead out the tissues. So here we are on a foam roller glute release. We are going to grab the ankle, bring it up towards our other knee, and just grabbing with the opposite hand and trying to maintain that. So your goal is to try to actively push the knee down towards the floor so you can incorporate and engage the musculature of the glute and piriformis region. If you're flexible enough, you can then cross the ankle over the knee joint and then once again trying to actively push that knee down towards the floor and trying to go up and down on that gluteal region to enhance that myofascial kneading. So for the 10th exercise, we are doing the same thing for the glute release instead of using a foam roller. Here we are using a lacrosse ball with a smaller surface area to really dig into the tissues. So here we are on the lateral side of the leg bringing that heel towards the groin as far as you can and then trying to actively push the knee down towards the floor trying to contract that glute. You can stay in that region for a set of five reps going back and forth and then after doing that you can then transition into going up and down on that gluteal region looking for another area of discomfort and then once you find it then you can stop, contract and relax again and then go in until the tissue is released. 